afternoon, YouTubers. Welcome to Diecast Culture. And in front of you is a package which has just arrived all the way from China. I ordered it on eBay and it's arrived here in the UK. It took about seven days, which isn't bad at all. And um, the label on the front is a customs uh, declaration label. Um, and um, in a moment we will unpack it. But what is inside? Um, inside is a 1 to 50 scale alloy reach stacker. Now, um, many of you who have uh, watched uh, my videos will know that I'm into 164 scale. So why have I bought a 1 to 50 scale reach stacker? The reason is that it's my belief that this is actually a 164 scale product and that the 1 to 50 on the box is, uh, dare I say, actually inaccurate. So um, if you're familiar with um, shipping container reach stackers, they are huge machines in real life. Um, you, you need to think about a machine that's big enough to pick up a 40 foot shipping container and um, stack it perhaps uh, four or five containers up uh, in the air. So uh, without further ado, uh, we shall unbox this. The uh, box is uh, a little bit squashed. Um, not surprising if it's come all the way from China. Um, it was wrapped in bubble wrap, but uh, no other protective layer. So um, in front of you, you can see the reach stacker itself. And uh, they've also included a couple of uh, road signage and some cones. Um, and then on the left are two containers, which I believe are plastic rather than alloy. So here is the uh, beauty unpacked. Uh, next to the two and they are indeed uh, plastic shipping containers and um, in a second I'm going to put a Hot Wheels car next to them. Okay so that gives you an idea of scale and um, a, yep uh, in my opinion this is uh, 164 scale uh, believe it or not uh, these machines are that big in comparison to a car in real life. So I thought I'd just show you the way the two shipping containers join together. Um, they are actually also, like I said earlier, made of plastic. And in fact, the, it's pretty cheap plastic when you look at it closely. It's quite thin. Um, and uh, clearly the, the containers were just a, an addition to, to the set, to make up the set, if you wish. Uh, the KDW stands for Kdway, which uh, I, I believe is a Chinese brand. Um, so I'm just going to pick up the, these containers and uh, show you if I can break them apart, whoops, without breaking them. And uh, you can see that the end of each container has uh, two little nodules, if you like, and uh, the opposites on the opposing container has holes. Um, so yeah, they just simply join together. Hopefully you can see that. So um, let's just join those back together again with a firm push. And um, we shall have a look at the uh, reach stacker itself. So you're going to have to bear with me. Um, I'm going to see if I can operate this uh, without prior training, if you like. Um, so uh, this clearly uh, lifts up. That's quite a stiff movement. Um, and um, by the way, it just looks great, doesn't it? This, this red piece of machinery on the uh, whitish background. So um, this um, is multifunctional, multifunctioning arm. So not only does it spin, um, but of course it also extends right out. In fact, if we view it from the other side, um, it has, I think, markings. So there you go, that would be a, uh, you can see uh, the dimensions on the arm, so that would be for a 20 foot container. 
and uh, 30, and then all the way up to a 40 foot container. And oh, that does, that happens as well. So I like this, feel like a kid again. Um, yep. Right, and um, this this vehicle is a uh, rear wheel steel, uh, sorry, rear wheel steer. Um, so you can position the the axle as to how you wish um, the vehicle to move. Okay, so those holes you can see on the tops. We go onto those. hopefully and yeah that's uh, a very firm push on those and uh, there you go there is a uh, 40 foot shipping container being held up in the air by a uh, uh, definitely in my opinion a 164 scale reach stacker um, we'll take some close-up shots of uh, the interior of where the uh, operator sits and in fact I'm looking at it now and uh, uh, it's really quite detailed there's this little steering wheel and a, uh, a chair um, there's two chairs actually um, and um, yeah the chairs are the exact same size as you'd see in a in a Hot Wheels car or a 164 scale truck um, so here comes the uh, Dodge Charger, Dodge Challenger rather, and hopefully the uh, container is not going to get dropped because I think that car will be squashed. We'll also get a uh, 1 to 64 scale truck, also made by Kadeway, um, and this is an absolute monster. So I'm going to reverse it across the camera now, and you'll see it from the left. There it comes. Let's just get the lighting right. Okay, now this one has got loads of wheels. So um, I'll, I'll have to do a separate video on this um, particular Kadeway truck, um, but the uh, containers on these are alloy, they're all metal. And um, there is the one to 64 scale truck. I mean, the, the truck is probably uh, to be completely honest, probably 162, 1 to 60 maybe even, but um, the discrepancy is um, not a huge deal. Um, so there's a reason I'm popping this into view on the camera, uh, because um, having compared this KDOA truck to other 1 to 64 trucks that I've got, made by First Gear for example, um, if we take this container off and um, if uh, this machine was to pop this down here we'll take a closer look at the uh, the reach stacker itself um, so if I'm to turn this over um, you can see that the base uh, well the base is all metal um, the whole lot's metal, and you can see the action of how it steers. Um, I can only guess that it was um, categorised as 1 to 50 scale because of its size uh, as a toy. It is um, uh, a lot larger than what you normally would come across for 164. But, um, yeah... It, uh, most de if it most definitely is. Um, I'll try and pop up a uh, couple of photographs of the real thing. All right, I'm going to see if we can see into the cab. Um, yeah, so I think hopefully the camera can see the steering wheel, the, dri the operator's seat, the driver's seat. I've also noticed that um, the way this arm works, there's uh, even more... Um, functionality. You can see these two hydraulic rams on the top so you can 
tilt it any direction you want and you can turn it and the arm extends as well so yeah I, I think this is awesome personally couldn't get hold of it in the UK it, um, it's not available on eBay in the UK um, but I, I dared to uh, purchase it from China I say dare because of the time it usually takes it can take up to a month um, but also it can attract customs charges um, I did buy one truck from China which it cost about £22 and I had to pay £12 custom charges on it which was a bit of a pain but uh, fortunately on this one it didn't attract it at all uh, the tyres are rubber and the uh, railings, the bars on the um, reach stacker here are made of plastic um, otherwise um, everything else on it is metal okay guys um, thank you ever so much for watching I'm just going to take a few still shots now and uh, we'll add a bit of uh, music uh, what type of music do you choose for a construction vehicle um, yeah leave that with me I'll see what I can come up with um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video um, please remember to like and subscribe so uh, take care everybody have a good weekend and speak to you soon. Bye.